Hi artists! This is such a cool project. Today we are making symmetrical butterflies. We're gonna draw, trace, and rub a butterfly really hard so that it's the same on both sides or symmetrical. Then you can color or paint it any way you choose. As for materials, you can do this trick with a pencil, but you have to rub super hard. You can do it with a crayon or oil pastel. That's what we're gonna use at school. Or you can use paint if you've got paint at home. Just do a little at a time, fold it, rub, and voila, so cool. All right, now if you've drawn a butterfly before, maybe you've drawn like a letter B butterfly with little letter Bs on each side for wings. That's great, but today we're gonna try to be scientists and look super closely. This is a more realistic butterfly. Look at all the parts. There's the head. Can you touch your head? There's the middle of its body, which is called the thorax. Can you say thorax? And there's the bottom called the abdomen. Can you say abdomen? Abdomen nice. is like a belly. Most bugs and butterflies are symmetrical. That means if you drew a line down the middle, the left side and the right side would be the same. What are some other things we can find in nature that are symmetrical? For this project, you'll need the white paper and the butterfly that I sent home. It's not a whole butterfly, is it? It's only a half. You either got the left side or the right side. You're gonna unfold this paper, put your butterfly down on whatever side it fits on, and your job is gonna be to draw the other side. Now, if you didn't get this stuff, it's okay. You can just pause the video and draw what you see on the other side. You can use just printer paper for your paper if that's all you've got. Now let's get to drawing. You need a pencil and then a crayon for the transfer part. You could also use an oil pastel or a uh, paint if you've got it. The last thing you'll need is totally silly. You need a spoon. So look in your kitchen and get a spoon. That's for the rubbing. You might also need an adult to help with this part because it can be kind of tricky. All right, now when we draw our butterfly, are we gonna draw a letter B butterfly, kind of like this? Hmm, it's cute, but does it look like the other side? I don't think so. Let's erase that and let's try to look like scientists. Let's look really closely. We're not trying to make it perfect. We just wanna try to get as many details as we can. Do you remember what the top of the butterfly is called? Yeah, it's a head, just like ours. And then the next one was the thorax, right? So I'm making a kind of a backward C shape. And then the long abdomen. Very nice. Now let's make those wings. And I'm gonna actually put my pencil down and use my finger to kind of practice. Wow, look how tall they are. They almost go to the top of the paper. They curve around like triangles and come back. And the bottom one's a little rounder, isn't it? So after you've tried that with your finger, let's do it with our pencil. Around, has a little wiggle in it too, doesn't it? And then back all the way to the middle. The second wing starts kind of low. I think it's overlapping, which means it's kind of like under or over the other wing. So we'll start there, go around and back to the body. I like that. I think those shapes look great. Now I'm going to trace these with my crayon. If you're painting, you could trace it with paint or oil pastel. Whatever you've got that's going to be nice and thick. Now I'm pushing hard. I'm really using my muscles because when we do our rubbing magic trick, which is called a transfer, it's got to be really nice and thick and waxy to work. Now let's look at some of the patterns. Let's get fancy. So I notice, first of all, there's the antenna on top of its head. Then there's kind of a, like a black line that follows the shape of the wing. So check it out. I'm curving, I'm following the shape that I drew all the way back to the middle. Same thing on the bottom. I'm following it. You can add a wiggle if you want to. Every butterfly is different, just like every person is different. The wings are made up of all these little cells or almost like scales, right? So I'm adding extra lines. You can add some dots. 
at this point, if you want to use your imagination a little and make up some designs, you totally could. I like trying to observe closely. And then, I know it's hard work, but you might have to trace over some of those lines. Okay, once you're done, we're going to fold our paper. I'm pushing the crease. We're going to get our spoon, and we're going to rub. Now, I just rubbed really softly. Did anything happen? No. All right, so now I'm standing up, and I'm pushing with my whole body weight. Push, push, push. Make sure the part you're rubbing is where there really was some butterfly. (gasps) And look, it's starting to work. So if yours is not working, it's possible you have to trace darker with your crayon. Hopefully you used a nice dark color like purple or blue or black and not something light like yellow. You could also ask a grown-up to help. I'm also going to trace them over so that, you know, the darker and waxier and thicker it is, the more wax is going to go to the other side of my picture. So rub, 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 itty, rub, itty, rub, 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 Yeah, I know. I should be a music teacher. I'm so good at singing. All right, that's pretty good. Now, it's still pretty light, so to see it better, I'm going to trace over all those lines again with my crayon. And then you can color or paint it any way you want. Monarch butterflies, which you may have learned about, have a lot of orange and black on the ends. But your butterfly can look like anything you'd like it to. You can also make a background if you want by painting or coloring the sky or drawing shapes or other butterflies or designs like flowers or leaves. Have a great time with this one, guys. Let me know how it goes.